All right, how's it going everybody? Welcome to another plant video. My name is John and today I want to tell you all about this really cool myco insecticide I've been using to control fungus gnats. So myco, of course, referring to mushrooms. This product is called Bovaria bassiana um, and it's a fungal strain that is going to grow into your soil and it's going to, going to kill all of those nasty little critters down there. So the specific product I got um, is from buildasoil.com and this just happens to be the one that I found a couple years back. So there's this black powder in there containing all those fungal spores and I'm going to put some of those onto all of my plants and then that fungus is going to grow and it's going to start to fill the pots more and more becoming more effective over time. The thing I really like about this is that it's a, it's a living thing. So it's going to grow and develop and get stronger and better and more effective. And it's not gonna hurt your plants. Um, so it's really wonderful because if it seems like it's not working so well right away, it's going to continue to gain traction in the soil until it's becoming very effective. And on the plants I've used this on in the past, when I go to repot them, I can see that white fuzzy powdery proof of the mycelium network that's in there that has developed over time. So this is not going to instantly kill any of uh, the fungus gnat larva or anything like that, but it will start to become more and more effective within a couple of weeks. And the way this works is in the most, uh, in the nastiest, scariest kind of way. Um, like, like what you would see in an alien movie where a fungus grows within the host and then bursts out of their skin, killing them. Um, it's like that, so yeah. Real nasty, freaky stuff, but um, it's not gonna hurt your plants and it will kill the fungus gnats, so A plus. Now, according to the directions on this bag, it says to apply a quarter teaspoon to a new plant or half a teaspoon to a mature plant. Um, but what I found when I was applying the powder onto all of my pots is that as I was watering, there would be this really dark black water coming out the bottom. And I was worried that I was just flushing it out um, I contacted the company I purchased this from and they said that as long as you're only getting about 10 to 15% of total water applied coming out of the drainage holes, there should be no issues. But um, the, the method I prefer to use is to simply mix this up in a squirt bottle and then to just go squirt it on all of my plants so that it has plenty of time to gain some traction before that next watering day for that plant. So I have this squirt bottle here with this uh, really fine spout. So I'm gonna put some powder into here, fill this with water and just go squirt all of my plants. And I'll be doing that once a week for the next couple of weeks, just to make sure there's plenty of these spores in all of my pots. Okay, so here you can see the color of it. This stuff is really, really black. It looks like black sand or black uh, flour or something. So I don't know for sure if this will leave permanent stains anywhere, but I did get some on my hands that was a little hard to wash off. So for sure, you need to be careful with this stuff when you're mixing it up and um, definitely if you have carpet, uh, be very careful. I did notice after applying this that some of the, the soil surface on many of my pots like just stayed really, really black for a long time. So just something to be aware of. If you are the kind of person that is top dressing all of your plants with like a nice layer of rocks or something, you may want to dig underneath that before applying this so that you aren't looking at some kind of dark stain for a couple of months or so. Okay, so let's mix this up and get to work. Okay, so I have no idea how much of this stuff to put, so I'm going to put two heaping tablespoons, slightly heaping, mounded tablespoons. Okay, so you can see how dark this is, and so yeah, you gotta be real careful swirling this around. You don't wanna spill it, it's uh, it might stain. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this to the white knight here. I'm also gonna use this as an opportunity to uh, give you an update on this white knight for those of you who follow me on Instagram. Um, there were two all white leaves in a row that have now, I cut them off because they turned brown. Then there was this all green leaf and now there's two more all white leaves, maybe a third. So I don't know what this thing is up to, but it just seems like it's begging to get chopped. But anyways, this is all I'm gonna do with this. I'm just gonna take it, squirt just a tiny amount all the way around. I'm 
So I'm basically just doing a loop around the pot halfway between the base of the plant and the pot rim. So that makes sense to me. But again, this stuff will, will grow and develop within the pot, so I don't think it's a big deal. But I would definitely recommend trying to hit the whole thing. And again, my strategy with this, I'm not trying to get the absolute perfect amount in here at one dose. I'm just making sure I get some in all of my pots and then I'll add a little more next week and the week after that because, because that's really easy and simple. And for sure, by the end of like a third treatment, there will be enough in each of these pots to continue growing and developing on its own. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. I really don't think a lot of people know about this stuff. Um, but it's really cool, very effective, and it continues to become more effective, which is the biggest reason of all, in my mind, to use something like this. So I definitely think it's worth checking out, and I'll leave a link in the description to the site I purchased it from, but by all means, find your own supplier or source. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your plants and with your life, and I hope to see you in the next video. All right, peace.